What's up everybody? How you doing today? Guess what? It's another episode of The Everyday Kitchen Starring Me, Mikeyson. That's who. That's who it's starring. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today on The Everyday Kitchen we're going to make some a vegetable a soup. Vegetable soup. No meat. No meat. No meat. Vegetable soup. Let's take a look at the ingredients real quick. Very simple, very cheap, very easy. Let's check it out. We got butter beans, we got green beans, we got diced potatoes, stewed tomatoes, veg all home style, more diced potatoes, whole kernel corn, sliced carrots, and vegetable broth. That's right, boys and girls, a vegetable broth. We're going to make some pretty good soup. We got the pot right here. Boop, boop, boop. Ready to go? We're going to open up these cans and get the show on the road. We're going to get this done in no time. Let's do this. Oh, that was difficult. That was so hard to do. Alright, let's face it guys, let's face it, this is the quickest, easiest, cheapest way really to make some homemade, homemade vegetable soup. Now I'm using cans, of course, and I got my little container of the vegetable broth, yes, vegetable broth. So let's add our vegetable broth. Oh, you are add a vegetable broth. Oh, very good. There we go, like a champ. Did that like a champ. Literally, this is the easiest stuff in the world to do. Adding our cans here. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that. Get in there. There we go. Alright, let's add the rest of these cans, shall we? Nice big tomatoes in there. Well guys, that's it as far as the actual making of the soup. Now, if you wanted, you could have added some sort of meat. You could add beef, chicken, pork, whatever you want to add. I don't care. You could have done that. Um, a lot of times I do. A lot of times I will add some sort of meat. Nine times out of ten, it's usually some ground beef. But this is what I'm feeling today. You could add onions and garlic, and you could add all types of little garnish, little spices and herbs, all that kind of stuff. But it adds up. This is cheap, this is vegetable soup on a budget, and this will last me a couple of good days. Um, 
I wish I had recorded yesterday. I made some homemade chili. But my wife was here and everything, so I didn't want to really do all that while she was here. It'd be kind of awkward. A little bit awkward talking to the camera while you got people around. So, uh, today we're just doing soup. Another day, I'll show you how I make some chili, which is just basic chili. I like a lot of beans in my chili. So, we'll stir this up. Right now I got it on high, I'll leave it on high for a little bit, and then I'll turn her down pretty good. Um, I am going to set a timer, just to remind me that there's something going on in here, because I do have to do my afternoon bus route. I don't want to take off on my bus route and leave this thing going. So, I am going to set a timer, just to show you, these are minutes, then we'll get to, there we go, one hour. One hour. I'll be reminded. Once this is all done, we'll do a taste test. It might be later on this afternoon or whatever, but we'll do a little taste test. I'm sure it's going to be pretty good, though. All right, guys. We'll see you then. Let's go wait on this stuff to get done. All right, guys, soup's going. It's still cooking on down. Uh, hopefully, it's going to get nice and done and smushy and tender. Um, I found these in the cupboard. They're called whole cloves. They have a strange smell to them, but I looked, and supposedly they are for hot, to flavor hot beverages, soups, and stews. They have a strange kind of a smell, almost a festive kind of smell or something. So I just put about six or seven, six or so in the uh, in the pot there. You can smell, you can smell it cooking up. You can see them kind of floating around. There's one. Anyway, hey, can't hurt. Usually my food consists of whatever I can find, and that was something I found. So, anyway, we're going to continue letting it cook on down, get it nice and done, and then we'll do a nice little taste test later on. Hopefully it's going to be pretty darn good. Keep waiting. All right, guys, it's just about that time for the taste test. Now, I just uh, went back and I looked at my videos, and I do have a video of uh, vegetable beef soup. I knew I'd already done one. I just couldn't remember exactly. But yes, I already did a vegetable beef soup. This is just vegetable. All right. So forgive me for putting out two similar videos, but you kind of forget what you've done sometimes. Um, this one has maybe one or two different ingredients or what have you, and plus it doesn't have any uh, meat. So it's still a good video to watch. It's worth your time. We're about done here. I'm going to check it out. Stuff. All right, this is already it's already warmed up good. I've had it in the fridge the whole you know, uh, the whole time. I had to go do my bus route. Then when I got home, I went for my bike ride. 
I got home, stuck it on the stove. We're gonna get us a bowl. Some hot soup. Yes, I ate a lot of salt. That's some hot soup. I don't know if I want to taste it right this second. I don't even want to hold the bowl. And I'm going to say those chives that I added, I'm iffy about that. They just have a weird smell. I better not, it better not taste like pumpkin spice or cinnamon or I'll be mad. I'll just get kind of I am a soup connoisseur, just like I am a pickle connoisseur. I love soup, and I mentioned before in probably my other soup video, my vegetable beef one, that there's only, not only, but my favorite soup in the entire world I've ever had is from a local restaurant here, family owned place called Tom's Pizza and Steakhouse. Best homemade vegetable soup you'll ever eat. Oh. My dream is to be able to make a soup that tastes somewhere near that. This ain't bad. Um, it actually is better than vegetable beef, um, especially ground beef. I think ground beef just has too much in it going on, even if you wash it out and drain it off real good. And for some reason, I always use, gr I always use ground beef. But just a plain vegetable soup. That's good, man. I like being able to I like being able to taste all the all the different vegetables and stuff. That's what I like about it. And the chives, I can smell those chives that I put in there, and there might be some flavor, but it's not it's not as bad as I was thinking it was gonna be. Only thing differently I would have done with this is put one more big can of tomatoes. Those stewed tomatoes or whatever they were I put in there. I like tomatoes in my soup. And, uh, I mean, I got tomatoes. You know, there's a little chunk. But I like some tomato off in there. And there's one of those chives. I don't think they're edible. I ain't gonna eat that. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm going to take this over to my desk, finish it up, and probably have about two or three more bowls. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something. If you know something about vegetable soup or vegetable beef soup, leave it in the comments. Don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do these videos because I enjoy it. I do it for myself. It helps me with depression and killing time, and I just enjoy it. 
and I hope that I inspire you in some way, shape, or form to do something yourself. So guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Even with chives. Ow, in a hot bowl. God dang, it's a hot bowl. We'll see y'all later. I'm going to go eat. <clears throat> Guys, just one more quick thing. This is about the closest I've come to making my favorite soup uh, from that restaurant that I told you about here in town. Thomas Pizza and Steakhouse, who has the best vegetable soup ever. This is pretty close. If I had to put those chives in here, it would have been even closer. Um, but those chives are giving it a little different hint of some flavor. But it's really close. That is one of the best soups. I've made so follow these directions very simple very good stuff and cook it and mix it and mix it and cook it and, and the more you agitate it and stir it up and mix it the more it breaks down all the vegetables and the potatoes and all that and the more it kind of gives it that uh, thicker gravy you know uh, broth if you will um, the more you agitate it and cook it and let it let it keep going and stir it and stir it and smush it a little bit. Does it good. Good stuff. Especially tonight. Cold night. Long bike ride. Feels good. Good night. We'll see y'all later.